Yes, we're live outside Queen's Park in downtown Toronto as the province announces its budget plans. And we'll have extensive coverage for you. Taz Bogle will be joining us from the studio in a moment. But first, we're going to bring you the details on what happened here this afternoon. Now, we can tell you there wasn't a lot in this budget that the government hasn't already talked about for the past couple of weeks during a number of spending announcements. But the Tories have made it clear this budget is a roadmap to the upcoming election. The PCs tabled a budget that boasts $158 billion in spending over the next decade. Our budget is a plan for rebuilding our economy with better jobs and bigger paychecks. A plan that is working for workers to give them the skills that they need to succeed for an in-demand and well-paying jobs. However, the opposition didn't have a problem finding adjectives to describe their plan. It is completely lacking in the kind of ambition that I know that the people of Ontario have for our province. This government is completely out of touch with everyday Ontarians. 1950s super sprawl budget that is going to take Ontario backwards. The Liberal leader noticed some money the PCs didn't spend over the past year. In education alone, cutting $1.3 billion from the education budget. And then, by the way, if you look at the reading or the wording in their actual document, they're in effect blaming moms and dads for not stepping up and doing as much fundraising. The budget, however, may not even pass into law because an election call is expected next week, which has led Andrew Horvath to wonder if this budget is legit. I'm absolutely concerned about a possible bait and switch, and it's, it really sells short uh, the people of Ontario. Um, I can tell you, I can guarantee you, I would never table the budget that uh, was introduced by the government today, but there must be a hidden budget somewhere. On multiple occasions, Finance Minister Peter Bethan Falvey was asked if the budget was more of an election platform and that if Doug Ford is re-elected, would the PCs bring forward the exact same document? We are going to campaign on this document, Colin. It's a yes or no. You, you know, in your mind, it may be a yes or no. Events, we're going to go through an election. We're going to listen to the people of Ontario. This is our plan that we've tabled. We're going to listen to the people of Ontario, but this is the plan that we want to uh, put forth in front of the people of Ontario. Uh, the people of Ontario will vote on this budget and it will be up to them if they want to pass this budget. We've made, well, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's the alternative? 15 years of, of not doing anything, talking about things and not getting things done versus a government that has a demonstrated track record of, of getting things done.